everybody, I wanna share with you one of the easiest, my family loves this recipe. I started making it, what, what did I say? Six years ago? 2013. Six years ago, when I had some leftover orzo, opened the refrigerator, you've been there. There was some purple cabbage. At the time, there were some turnip greens, and I wanted to take this simple orzo and kind of change it from Italian to Asian. So I made this stir fry, the family loves it. I wanna show you how to make it, let's do it. All right, let's make this. You're gonna need two cups of orzo is what I'm using, some leftover orzo. You're gonna need half of a purple cabbage. We're gonna shred that up and it's gonna equal about two cups. This is the beautiful part. I'm using dinosaur kale. You need one large bunch of greens. You could use, David, what? Turnip greens, mustard greens, collard greens, but I happen to have dinosaur kale here. It's gonna be great. And here's where the flavor comes in. I have toasted sesame oil. Mm. And then I'm gonna finish with just like a little kick of chili oil. Is that hot? Yes, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and I need a little oil for my wok, so let's go. I'm gonna take that half of my purple cabbage. I don't need to use a grater to shred it. I would guess this is probably two cups right there. Yeah, that looks like two cups. I mean, once you get it all, you know, shredded up and apart. This is like start to finish, David. This is a super, super quick recipe. The dinosaur kale, it's not like a collard. I don't need to take that stem out. I just need to cut the ends off. Okay. Like, this would be a great little arrangement. Now you can uh, roll these up like you would, like you'd cut collards. And we're just gonna kind of, a little thicker than a ribbon cut. Wow, nice. A little thicker. Like a, a ribbon cut would be a little thinner than that. And that's all the prep we're doing. All right, let's make this. All right, David, we have our wok like smoking hot. Look at the smoke, like literally smoking hot. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of oil to my hot wok. First thing going in is gonna be our purple cabbage. So like you always in a vegetable stir fry, you start with the one that needs to cook the longest. Like it would be a carrot typically, you know, something like that. So pretty. I don't wanna lose the pretty purple color. I wanna make sure that I don't kick, cook it too long. It should still just have that really nice crunch that all stir fries should have. All right, so now that took what? I mean, less than a minute, yeah, probably. probably. We're gonna add in our kale. This is like the fastest dinner ever. <laughs> Look at how pretty the purple and the green is. I hope the light is nice on this. At what point would you put in an additional protein? Good question, David. I would actually love this if I just laid like a piece of grilled salmon on top of it. All right. Look at that. Now we have that. We're going to take that leftover orzo that we have. And now that we have that orzo on, now I'm going to put some sesame oil in. Now it seems excessive. I'm going to go like probably one and a half, two tablespoons of sesame oil, but it's not excessive. Finish it with a little flake sea salt and the heat. Just like a half a teaspoon of chili oil. That's how fast that was. Wow, so pretty. That's yeah. right, Dee. There you guys have it. How pretty that is. Wow, that is so colorful and pretty. That is gorgeous. It's so good. The chili oil. Ooh. So good. Nice kick. <laughs> you guys, easy dinner. This is a colorful, quick stir fry using leftovers. Get the recipe on LibbySummers.com. <laughs> I got a call from the chili. <laughs> Share a photo. You guys make this stuff. Tag me with your photos. I want to see what you're doing. This is a good one. I love this. We'll see you next time. I'm excited to try it. It's really good. I'm starving too. Mm -hmm.